So earlier this month, astrophysicists observed evidence of a fast radio burst. That's a bright radio wave emission that lasts only a few milliseconds. Mm. So while fast radio bursts are not unique, this particular one is of interest because it is, quote, the first of which emissions other than radio waves, which have been detected, the first to be found in the Milky Way and a first to be associated with a magnetar. So joining us to explain what this means and what a magnetar even is, is program director at the National Science Foundation, Dr. Joe Pesh. Doc, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining us again. Nice to see you both, and thank you for having me. Of course. Oh, so what's a magnetar? Tell us the significance of this. What is it? Well, let me, can I back up and, and oh, talk a little bit up. about fast radio bursts first? Yeah. And so, you know, fast radio bursts, we, astronomers are very simple. We like these very descriptive uh, names for, for our new astronomical objects. And as, as Crystal said, fast radio burst is a fast burst of, of radio emission. And they're insanely bright. Uh, they last about a millisecond. And in that millisecond, the amount of energy generated by the sun in about 100 years is, is transmitted. Wow. These were discovered about 13 wow. years ago. Mm -hmm. um, they're mostly single events, however. And so that's been uh, caused difficulty in, in allowing us to figure out what they are. Single, single fast radio burst or an FRB goes off. We may not be able to localize it. And so, you know, what in, what in the heck is going on? And this is typical of astronomy, right? We, we, we are in discovery space and we observe these things that are new and now we're trying to figure out what's going on. So uh, some fast radio bursts, have, have we've started to see them repeat. And this is good because it allows us to uh, localize them and try to figure out what's going on. And as the lead-in uh, noted, we've seen for the first time an FRB from inside of our Milky Way. And that has allowed us to follow up because it's closer and it's easier to see. And as you've noted, uh, it was detected at the site of a known magnetar. Okay, mm -hmm. so now let's, let's get to magnetars. What is a magnetar? A magnetar is a really neat, uh, extreme object. When stars more massive than the sun die, they explode as the so-called supernova. And they, they can leave behind either a black hole that we've talked about or a neutron star. A neutron star is made up of highly condensed matter. In fact, it's made up of neutrons. Uh, that is essentially everything that was in, in the core of that massive star before it exploded. When the explosion happened, the massive compression of the explosion converted all the material in the core into neutrons, and the star, the core rather, shrunk down to a very small size, about 10 to 20 kilometers in diameter, about the size of a city. Hmm. That very small size and the mass, maybe one, two, uh, up to possibly three times the mass of the sun is in that very small diameter, so that makes it incredibly dense, 100,000 billion times the density of the solar interior. In fact, uh, 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 neutron stars are the, are the densest objects known apart from black holes. And a teaspoon has the mass of 1,000 billion kilograms. Wow. Wow. What does that, what does that mean? Yeah. That's a huge number. It's about 900 times the mass of the Great Pyramid in, in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So these, these objects have extremely strong uh, or very strong magnetic fields. And if they rotate rapidly and eject beams of light, we know them as pulsars. And okay. pulsars have been known since the late 1960s. Some of these neutron stars have extremely strong magnetic fields, 10,000 to 100,000 billion Gauss. Uh, and again, to put that in perspective, the Earth's magnetic field is about 0.6 Gauss. Wow. And so wow. these extremely strong magnetic fields in, in these neutron stars lead to objects that we call magnetars. They are the strongest known magnetic fields in, in the universe. A lot of energy there. So, mm -hmm. so, so what are the implications? So let me, first, let me make sure that I have all of this right. So we detect this fast radio burst. First time, it's coming from within Milky Way. And we're able that, it, within the Milky Way, so we're able to track it more easily than other fast radio bursts in the past. And we track it to a magnetar. That's what has. So what yep. are... What are the implications of that? Why is that? Why should people be like interested, intrigued, excited about this development? Well, fundamentally, uh, the fast radio burst was a new form of object that we'd never seen before. And so, you know, that's something that's going on in our universe and we want to figure out what's happening. And now, after 13 years of these single events and some of them repeating and now this object from the Milky Way, 
um, we have a better understanding of, of what is causing this astrophysical phenomenon. Now you say, okay, you know, who cares? Well, since it's a magnetar, um, this allows us to understand uh, the end states of, of supermassive stars when they explode and they create the pulsar. Uh, it allows us to understand the, the pulsar itself and so it gives us a better understanding of these astronomical objects. But fundamentally, these extreme uh, objects are very extreme laboratories. They're, they're laboratories that are much more extreme from a physics perspective than we can create in, in laboratories on Earth. And mm -hmm. so these astrophysical objects uh, used as an extreme laboratory allow us to understand the laws of nature, the laws of physics, uh, and how nature operates in a better way. And so they're tools that we use both, you know, in the, the neatness of the object itself and trying to figure out what the astronomical object is, but then also just understanding our universe around us and the laws of nature that operate within, uh, within the universe. Certainly. Wow. Well, lot to, lot to mull over there, doctor. Thank you for joining Fascinating, us. Fascinating, doctor. It. Thank you. So great course, to see you. you. <laughs> More rising for you after this.